Good evening, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace, through faith, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. Put yourself in it, you put works in it. You put works in it, you put yourself in it. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit immediately indwells in you. The Holy Spirit is your BFF. The Holy Spirit changes you. The Holy Spirit leads you, guides you. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but the Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption. That's the gospel, period. Straight and simple. You will never lose your salvation, period. Let me give you this article. This came to me from the Washington Examiner. One of my subscribers sent this to me. Biden, Sleepy Joe, must heed Russia's latest threat to U.S. forces in Syria. Folks, I'm telling you, Things are happening, it seems like, every minute. It says, Russia desperately wants U.S. military forces out of northeastern Syria. On Tuesday, responding to a tweet from a U.S. military spokesperson, the Russian embassy in Washington complained that the United States has no legal mandate to be in Syria. The embassy added that the, U, that the U.S. spokesman uh, referencing the U, United Nations Security Council Resolution 2254 is just ridiculous. There is more going on here than a tw uh, Twitter debate. Russia remains furious that the United States military is still in Syria. But the Kremlin likely also senses that increased pressure might now lead Sleepy Joe to remove U.S. forces. Putin's interest in such a withdrawal is long standing. Standing, Putin know, uh, knows that until the United States vacates Syria, Russia and its puppet director Bashar Assad will not unilaterally be able to shape Syria's political future. Nor can Russia reduce its sizable and expensive military presence in that nation. Moscow also resents the United States' use of its Syrian outposts to monitor Iranian infiltration, route, uh, infiltration routes across the Iraq-Syrian border. Putin wants to control that border himself, leveraging the control to extract concessions from Iran and the Islamic Republic, uh, Sunni uh, Arab enemies led by Saudi Arabia. Putin has shown he is willing to roll the dice to get what he wants. Or he will do whatever it takes. Back in 2018, Putin's GRU intelligence service attempted to massacre American troops in Syria. Things didn't go according to plan. Then Defense Secretary Jim Mattis ordered out uh, airstrikes against the uh, attacking GRU forces. As Mattis put it, those forces were annihilated. Yet Russia's pressure on U.S. military forces continues acting through its own forces and those alienated with Assad, Russia has orchestrated a harassment campaign against U.S. forces. This has included efforts to run U.S. military patrols off the road and even occasional firefight. So you see how things are heating up? You see why I give the gospel? every day to get people who are new to this channel saved. I will continue to do this. So, and I'm about to uh, 
call someone out. I haven't done that in a long time, but I'm about to do it. Patricia Bassini. She's uh, She made a comment here. I'm going to read the comment to you. I gave you the news. And I gave you the reason why I give the gospel every day. I do it and I'm not going to stop from doing it. But this is what this comment said. I am saved. Good. But it would be nice if you share the gospel at the end of your videos for those of us who are already saved. Most of us who watch you on a daily basis watch you to hear your daily news. And yes, it does take up. It does in capital letters, although I write in capital all the time. Take up a lot of our time to hear the gospel over and over again every day. We have already heard the gospel and accepted Jesus in our lives and don't need, stressing that again, to hear it every day. This is constructive criticism coming from another Christian who was agreeing with the person who made the comment that you're talking about in this video. No hard feelings, okay? God bless you. That's what those are comments I actually put up with every day. So my advice is this. You want to watch straight news, go to CNN. Oh, I know. They don't give the true news. <laughs> Forgot. Go to Fox. Go to somebody else. The gospel is the most important thing because I want to see people saved and justified by the blood of Jesus. Period. That's the most important thing. I give the gospel in every single video and will continue to do so along with the news because the news that I give relates to what's going to happen in the near future, probably within the next few months. And if you're not saved, you're going to be left behind. That's the simple fact. How do you get to the point where you get saved? Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. And believe in what Jesus did at the cross. He spilled his blood, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Period. I'm just giving the simple gospel and the simple news. And I will continue to do so. But I will call out people like this who have a problem with that. And no, I won't. You know what? I take that back. I won't call I won't call them out. But I just wanted you to hear what I get every day. Just about, yeah. Yeah, I say every day. I'm gonna say this. This gospel is no joke. Salvation is free, but it wasn't cheap. And this is for people who aren't saved. It's time to get saved. I'm doing this from a simple laptop, from a two-bedroom apartment, with a husband, two teenagers, and two cats. And it's because the Lord told me to do it. And guess what? I enjoy it. And I will continue to do it. I stand on the gospel. I stand on people's getting, seeing people get saved. And I give this news as it relates to what's coming, which is the great tribulation. And I, want, I don't want to see no one left behind here. Not even my worst enemy. I will link this article in the description box. And I thank you for your support. And I thank you for your prayers. I pray for you guys every day, all the time. But you know what? It's getting to the point where I don't know what to pray for except, Lord, get us out of here. Simple as that. Get us out of here. I will be back with the next video. Thank you.